We've all heard of mammograms catching cancer early, but what if one could actually predict it years before it happens? We realize the AI is unlocking predictive data hidden in the mammogram. So. That's the idea behind a new AI model called Clarity Breast, developed by Dr. Connie Lehman at Massachusetts General Hospital. Hello. We reached out to see if they would run my mammogram through the AI. The AI isn't looking for cancer, but at my risk of ever developing it. But I'm 34, and most women don't start routine screening mammograms until 40. I, though, am a little bit younger mm -hmm. than someone that you would normally send for mm -hmm. a mammogram. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. However, I think if we can get information about risk, which is a totally different conversation, mm. of course it's worth it to do it earlier. Most women who get breast cancer don't have the classic risk factors. About 85% have no family history or genetic mutation. That's why researchers trained the AI on hundreds of thousands of mammograms, not family histories. The computer can learn the patterns in a mammogram in a woman that will develop breast cancer in the next five years and distinguish those patterns from those in a woman that will not. The AI system just needs one thing. The four views that are obtained with a standard screening mammogram, two of the right, two of the left, that's the only input. I submitted my mammogram to Dr. Lehman, and just a few days later, it was time to hear my personal level of risk. So, average. Average. Boring average. <laughs> yeah, and instances yeah. are very happy to be average. Yours is 1.3%. That is your percent probability, the likelihood, um, mm -hmm. that you would develop breast cancer in the next five years. That number is just the start. Dr. Lehman says what you do with it is what really matters. Mm -hmm. But we, we're going to want to do more at women at increased risk. We'd say we want you to have a screen at least once a year. And then really importantly, we probably want you to consider a test to help supplement your mammography screening. That might be an MRI or a contrast enhanced mammogram or an ultrasound. In studies, Clarity's predictions were roughly 30% more accurate than traditional risk models, which rely on family and personal health history. That can be a life-saving difference, according to Dr. Lehman. If I pull the ones at high risk by that score and have them have an MRI, I'm going to find four times as many cancers as if I rely on the traditional risk scores, four wow. times. So it really does translate to a very high impact. Donna McKay is the CEO of the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, which funded some of the Clarity so research. This is a paradigm shift from taking what is a mammogram, which is a diagnostic tool, and actually turning it into a predictive tool. But Dr. Lori Margulies of Mount Sinai cautions patients and doctors on relying too heavily on the score. So this tool is great and it should be used appropriately, but it doesn't catch everybody who will mm. get cancer in the next five years. Clarity is working to get the risk assessment covered by insurance, but in the meantime... What does this cost? Less than $200. The hope that this kind of AI could reach every woman, especially those who never imagined they were at risk. Being able to identify those 85% of women being diagnosed with breast cancer that had no idea that was coming, to identify them in advance, we're really going to change the face of breast cancer. So this technology is beginning to roll out at select hospitals across the country, including Beth Israel in Boston. In the future, also, patients will just be able to upload their own mammograms directly to Clarity for analysis. As long as it was fairly recent, yeah. you're just yeah. able to do that yourself. Wow, real game changer. And I mean, it, it's the way that it kind of guides you in what if you need ultrasound, if you need more mammogram to watch it over the years. That's exactly right, because it is dynamic. So when you go back in for your next mammogram and then you're going to have that uploaded, the whole idea is if there's been any change to your risk level, which could absolutely happen over time and with age, then it gives doctors a roadmap. They say, now you're going to do ultrasound, yeah. now you're going to get MRI, and that is absolutely, they believe, going to be a game changer in catching cancer early. It is fantastic that we have so many more tools in the toolbox now to fight breast cancer than we did just 25, 30 years. Totally. I feel like also fortunate right now that I got that score. I'm like, that yes. gives me some, not that I, it's going to mean I won't do regular yeah, screening, but it just gives you some peace of mind. A little peace of mind, yeah. for sure. Yeah. You've well, never been so excited to be average. There you go. <laughs> thanks for being willing to <laughs> yeah, do absolutely. it and bring us Thank the you. story. Thank, Thank you, you, Savannah. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, you can catch the Today Show every morning on NBC or take today when you're on the go. Just follow the Today podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen.